Homework help. You get homework help. Yup, yup. It's time for homework help. I hope you're ready to do some homework because I know I am. We're on page 212 and 213. So open up those books. Let's get started. On 212, you'll see uh, a question towards the top. It says, Julie made four liters of orange juice. How many milliliters of orange juice did Julie make? Um, well, this is a lot like uh, grams and kilograms. Uh, with liters and with milliliters, one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. And that's important to know. Uh, let's take a moment and try to remember all the amazing conversions we've, we've learned so far. There's um, 60 seconds. No, sorry, sorry. One minute equals 60 seconds. Uh, one hour equals 60 minutes. One gram equals a thousand a thousand kilograms and here we are with one liter this is the new one equals 1,000 milliliters and the question is if Julie made four liters of juice how many how many milliliters would that be hmm Good question. Actually, very easy. Um, when you've got four liters, well, think about it. You had one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. So four liters should equal, one liter equals 1,000. Four liters should equal, you got it, 4,000. It's not that hard. <clears throat> Look at this picture. It kind of makes you see what it would look like in real life. Think about it. This is like a measuring cup. Right here it says one liter. Right there it says 1,000 milliliters. But they're the same. So if you had four liters, you'd also have 4,000 milliliters. You can use a little uh, area model or bar model to show the same thing. Oops, sorry about that. <clears throat> Look at the picture of the beakers. How many milliliters are in one liter? Well, we talked about that, didn't we? 1,000 uh, milliliters. There you go. Look at the number. Look at the number pairs in each column of the table. Each number of milliliters is how many times that number of liters. They're talking about this down here. So it's one, one thousand, two, two thousand, three, three thousand, four, four thousand, five, five thousand. So what are they multiplying by? They're just multiplying by a thousand. Um, it is one thousand times, it is one thousand times bigger. or 1,000 times more. Write an equation to describe the relationship between each pair of numbers in the table. Easy. Uh, liter equals 1,000... Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. No, 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 no. What I meant to say was milliliter equals 1,000 times liter. All that's saying is that it's a thousand times bigger. So if you have five liters, you have 5,000 milliliters. And if you have six liters, you have 6,000 milliliters. Use the equation to find out how many, find the number of milliliters in four liters. No problem. We, I mean, we already did that kind. We already thought about that. 1,000 times four equals 4,000 milliliters. I'm out of space. No! How about that?
I did it kind of small. Sorry. How many milliliters of orange juice did Julie make? Well, that's the same thing, kind of. 4,000 milliliters, and I'll just, I'll just add of, oops, of orange juice. There you go. Explain why the milliliters in each number pair from the table is the large number. Well, milliliters have the large number because it takes a lot of milliliters to equal one liter. It takes 1,000, actually, milliliters to equal one liter. Let's look at the practice problems at the bottom of the page, uh, 13 and 14. A wan, that's an interesting name, if I'm saying it right, a wan bought three liters of apple juice. He plans to drink all of it in six days, drinking the same amount each day. How many milliliters will a wan drink each day? This is actually a hard problem because it's multiple steps. They're making you do more than just one thing. The first thing is to find out how many milliliters is three liters. Well, that's easy. Three times 1,000 equals 3,000 milliliters. Here's the interesting part, is that you're not done once you do that. You're not. But Mr. Graham, I did 3 times 1,000, I should be done. No, no. Because then look at the last part of the question. That's a weakness a lot of us have. We don't read the whole question. We don't see what the whole, whole question is. How many milliliters will a wand drink each day? Well, there's six days. So, hmm. That's like a division problem. 3,000 divided by 6. Or you could think of it as how many times or, or 6 times what equals 3,000. So let's do the division problem on the bottom. I can help you out with that. Don't worry. It won't even take that long because it really is actually an easy one. <clears throat> so we have 3,000. Oh, boy. We want to divide it by 6 because of the 6 days. Let's do the uh, area model. I should have wrote that bigger. Ah, it's a 3,000. 6 into 3,000. Well, don't look at the whole 3,000. Ask yourself, can 6 go into 30? I mean, 3? No. But can it go into 30? Yes. 6 times 5 equals 30. And then you put placeholder zeros and do a little subtraction. Oops. I messed that up. I messed that up. Sorry. Hold on. Let me write this bigger and not do it wrong. <laughs> Sorry. It's too, it's too messy. I confuse myself. That's what happens when you're messy. You blow it. If you're messy, you blow it. There, it's bigger now. Cool. So, I'll put the 6 on top. i put the 3,000 in there. We're doing division right now. That 6 came from there. The 3,000 came from our conversion. Now, can 6 go into 3? No. Can 6 go into 30? Yes. 6 times 5. You put the 5 on the outside. Sorry about that. 6 times 5 equals 30. 6 times 5. What does it equal? It equals 30. And if you're putting the uh, uh, these zeros right here by themselves, they need placeholder zeros. 
And if you put those zeros on outside, they have to go. They have to go on the inside and the outside. Those two zeros I added, I also added them right there. Six times five, that equals thirty. Now you can subtract. Three thousand minus three thousand. Oh, it's zero. We're done already. We're done already. The answer is five hundred. Mr. Graham did mess up in the beginning, and I apologize. And um, if division in general is too hard for you, you can also double check. You can say to yourself, self, um, 500 plus 500 plus 500 plus 500 plus 500, six times will also equal 3,000. Anyway, how many milliliters will a wand drink each day? 500 milliliters. Aaliyah made eight quarts of punch for a party. That's nice of her. I hope, I hope she has a good time at her party. Um, make a table or write an equation to find the number of cups of punch she has. One quart equals four cups. It's a good thing they gave us that because maybe you don't have it memorized. So one quart equals four cups and she made eight quarts. Here's the table. The table is going to be a long rectangle, cut in half. On top, you're going to go ahead and put uh, Q for quarts and C for cups, and you just do it like this. One quart equals four cups. One quart, four cups. What would two quarts be? Let's see, four and then another four would be eight. How about three quarts? How about four quarts? You see a pattern? How about five, six, seven, and eight? It's okay. It's not that bad. We can make the pattern. We can follow the pattern. Twenty cups. What's Six times four, 24 cups. What's seven times four? 28 cups. Add another four, what do you get? 32 cups. I'm gonna circle that because that's our answer kind of. Write an equation to find out the number of cups of punch she has. She has 32 cups. All right guys, taking a look at this, you might, be, you might begin to see that the conversion part is not the hard part. The hard part might be if they sneak some division in there or big multiplication or if they ask you to write a table, can you remember how to make a table? It's all stuff that we'll have to practice and go over together. Or maybe you're kicking butt. Maybe you can do it on your own. Good for you. All right, guys. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining me for homework. See you next time.